Man, seed of creation, woman, essence of destruction, co-creators, birth each other, truths are hidden while others are enlightened. Why can't we live in truth their respects? To who we are No shame, no fear in heaven on earth No more tug of wars No more tug of wars Love is perilous No more tug of wars No more tug of wars My topic is the purpose as to why members of the LGBTQI plus community, gay especially, the reason for us being born. And that is to show the balance, the duality of the divine masculine and feminine. To shed a neutral eye and bring awareness to issues to show an evolved perspective of this existence of living the evolved version of this interpretation of life of existence to understand the divine masculine and the divine feminine are equally essential to this existence, to life, to living. To know, to show that the seed of creation has the DNA code. The connection of seed to the male anatomy, to males, is just as, what I call it, connected or vital to society as well as the importance of the female anatomy of the womb that incubates the baby to full term but we all need to realize not to put one over the other we need to end the strife to say one is important or the child favors mothers over fathers for the simple fact she, that the baby, she curves the baby full term. Likely. But we gotta understand that the seed of creation, the, without the seed of life of creation, there is nothing as well. And that it, the seed lives in him longer, if not even longer, uh, especially if you use the semen retention that method but we gotta understand that he is an infinite eternal supply which is in direct reference to a source of creation God that shows that the supply that the DNA code is present in each of those seeds that there is a reason why each individual is different. That is a reason as to why every man is just as important because he holds a certain DNA code and structure that develops that individual in a certain different way. To treat them as less important and say all we need is just one or two men um, to populate a village. When in turn is really because of his difference makes a certain breed of individual human beings where spiritual beings having a human experience however you want to look at it so it's good to have um, a spectrum or, or group of people that represents the spectrum of living so we can help 
bring you awareness to everyone that we're meant to be different on purpose because that's how nature intended it for us to be. We're not supposed to be exactly alike. That's the relevance of representing or allowing the LGBTQIA plus community to be equally representing, represented in any form of civilization or society because it sheds light on the nature, natural process of living, the nature of being different and accepting other people's differences of humanity. That's why the plus is there. It pluses meaning everyone, just the spectrum of existing. That's what makes the LGBTQIA plus community very relevant in society. It's to shed light on spectrums of living and to humble everyone. To not to place one over the other. To understand how everyone works in conjunction with nature, with God, and that not one is less or more important than the other. This is how this existence functions. The beauty of light and dark, the beauty of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. The beauty of love and how balanced it really is. That is LGBTQI plus community is the glue that keeps the world from crumbling on itself. The divine masculine and feminine is what keeps this world, that keeps humanity from crumbling on itself. That is my purpose of why I create my music the way that I do. To showcase the divine masculine, the, the divine feminine, embracing one to the other within oneself, to create the wholeness of divinity. Why the divine feminine is the, the missing piece to the puzzle. So we can become overall better people, especially better men, to be, to self-reflect and to adhere more to the intuition uh, and, and to internalize the trauma and to heal oneself. The same thing goes for the female. It's important for her to embrace her divine masculine as well so she can internalize as well. And women have, on average, have figured that out. But men, we need to incorporate that too so we all can be just better human beings and to treat each other better and different not better better yeah better um and to embrace each other's differences that is what makes the lgbtqi plus community relevant in society it's not just about gay it's about bringing into awareness to help one another understand differences and to embrace that and to understand the, and embrace the difference within yourself and to allow your authentic self to shine forth. To understand that you're going to have aspects of the divine masculine and feminine in each and every person. To understand that life is about living and exploring and understanding oneself that one status or one title, particular title, does not define your character, your being. To know that you don't have to confine 
or restrict yourself to certain characteristics just because of a norm, religious or social or traditional, that you can break free from those confining mental states or mindsets to break free from the shackles <laughs> and this gives an insight on, as to why I do what I do why I created the music that I created it's not to just people may look at like oh, you're just unstable no it's not about showing in a sense, it is based on instability, but it's not at the same time. It's really just not. It's being truthful to show that there is dark and light, and you can use that, both aspects of the energy, because still energy, and you can use it to bring awareness, to still spread a positive message to utilize those energies or energy to bring forth a positive age a more liberated age in some cases to still pioneer a new age especially from the perspective of ones who have a harder time of, of embracing differences or changes in the way of life, of living.